Kenezo Kwonko, the spokesperson of the presidential candidate of a Labour Party during the 25th of February 2023 general election or the campaign spokesman, and was in in uh, on Arise TV where he gave massive, you know, thoughts to this certificate saga by President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, as well as the call for Atiku, a uh, call from Atiku Abubakar Begopada for uh, Peter, Peter Obi of Labour Party and Kwan Kwaso of NMPP to join him in the fight for justice. Now, welcome to Politics on the Wheel with Jay. Now, the call by Atikul Abubakar can be seen from two different wheels. You know that Atikul Abubakar, you know, like I, I, I have said in some of our previous videos, talking about the certificate saga of Bola Bettini, we was able to unravel all those things and make it more public, even though it was on public domain before now. And um, most people never believed that. But now that it has been something that has been confirmed, even there was... Uh, a disposition in the courts, you know, under oaths, you know, to confirm that this was never a thing uh, issued from the Chicago State University. You know, that uh, so many reactions, you know, from different quarters, different political spectrum, different political party, everybody has been giving their version. But there is something that uh, we need to understand about the call from Atikul Abubakar. And uh, before I come to talk much about the call from Atikul Abubakar for justice in Nigeria, uh, let me give you this video so you watch and see what Kenneth Okonkwo said about the call of Atikul for justice. Like I said, it wasn't my statement that admitted that that certificate is forged. It was theirs. Because they said the release of the certificate will do irreparable damage to them. The certificate has been released and it has done irreparable damage to them. So it wasn't my own admission. Recall that Robert Clark, an octogenarian of his generation, admitted that his generation are crooks in his words. He said we are all crooks in Nigeria. Recall that Professor Weloshoyinka said his generation is a wasted generation. So that wasted generation of crooks are the people we are facing now. And unfortunately, Atiku Abubakar, like you rightly pointed out, who belonged to that generation, is rather coming too late. He had the opportunity in 2015 to stick to his party, joining others to bring about new Nigeria. But he decided to destroy his own party in the name of zoning, that they ought to have zoned the party to the north. And so he joined other people to ensure that the party was zoned to the north, even if it means siding APC. And that was how Atiku joined others to enthrone Buhari that has performed worse than any other leader in Nigerian history. So the history of 2023 started from 2015. In 2023, Atiku had his constitution, PDP constitution, section 73C, which says the party shall pursue the aim and objective of adhering to the policy of rotation and zoning of party and political elective offices in pursuance of the principle of equity, justice, and fairness. A man who could not allow power to shift, who wanted to succeed his fellow Fulani, not ten Muslim, in the interest of injustice, cannot come to tell us to follow him in the interest of justice. So the issue is that when you want to go to equity, you go to equity with clean hands. Yes, he should tell Nigerians the truth. He is fighting to know whether he can become president, not that he's fighting for justice, because it was his injustice in not allowing power to shift to the South that even brought the certificates forger to come and become the leader. So the issue here is very clear. Atiku Abubakar should know that after contesting presidency for six times, time has come for him to repent from being a member of a crooked wasted generation and join the new generation in the quest for a new Nigeria, which is exemplified by Peter Grigori Obi. If Atiku had joined this force earlier now, there is no issue of APC being the president of Nigeria. So I acknowledge that he is fighting for his political life. He wants to be president. That is why he's fighting. Not that he's fighting for justice because it is his injustice against the people of the South, against the constitution of his party, that brought about the possibility of a Tinubu in the first place. You've seen what uh, Kenneth Okonko have said concerning the call of Article for Justice. Now, like I said earlier, you know that this call from Article Abubakar can be seen from the both side, from two sides. Now, the first place, the first side is this. Article Abubakar is trying to say that Juan Kwaso and um, Peter Obi should join force with him. Let's reclaim this mandate from the people, the, the APC, the All Progressive Congress, uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinibu from the Supreme Court, and uh, let's join hands together and build the Nigeria that we all want. 
that is world side of which most nigerians and many nigerians are not in support of that including the labor party of which you've seen the reaction from kenneth okonko in regards to that already is it's, it's not going to happen it will never happen this should have been done before the primaries before even the election in 2023 but they missed that opportunity and then you cannot call that now then the second phase is this the call for justice is this that we all should put hands together and push in respective of our political quests in order to gain power or regain power for our different political party and persons we should come out and speak in one voice that he um bola ahmed tinebu forged a certificate and cannot be the president of nigeria therefore by the evidence that i've been able to obtain from the court you can therefore make use of this evidence before uh, your case in the court as well as uh, since the supreme court can entertain um, any other evidence even though you file your case already you can make use of it in order to make sure that uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu will never remain in that office as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is another way that he is trying to call on the uh, on other political parties and politicians to rally around to make sure that Tinubu is being kicked out of that place. Now, this is my own take. If we have a national assembly that is working perfectly well, if we have uh, people of uh, of reputable character in our national assembly, not that we don't have, we do have people of reputable character in our Senate and House of Representatives. But by now, we should have been seeing a motion to remove the president or impeach him as the president of Nigeria because there is a certificate that has been also, you know, it has been confirmed by a court that this person forged from every analysis and indication the school have claimed that they never issued that certificate what else do you want is it that you want an argument from the court of your own jurisdiction for you to attain ascertain that yes this person actually forged the certificate or you want to uh, you, you want to wait for the Supreme Court to do their bidding uh, 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 before you said anything. To me, the National Assembly by now should be moving an impeachment, uh, uh, you know, proceed, uh, processes, you know, to make sure that Bola Abed Tinibu is being impeached as a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria because the case have already been confirmed that he never obtained those things from the Chicago State University. Anyway, like I always said, politicians don't really care about your feelings or what you believe in. All they care about is their personal interest. Politics is not about emotion. It is about personal interest. What do you think about this? Do you believe that the Supreme Court will do the needful? Do you believe that? Let's have your take at the comment section. Please, let's remain civil. Thank you.